Hey everybody. So today Tesla had their autonomy day. It was a really long, almost three hour presentation on the future of autonomy at Tesla and in Tesla vehicles. So I'm just gonna give you my main points from that today. Let's check it out. So these are the points that I found interesting and I think others would be interested in. So first up is LiDAR is lame. That's a quote from Elon. He said that LiDAR is not the future and companies will regret using it. Uh, LiDAR is a technology that most other self-driving car companies are using. You'll see uh, in a more primitive version the, on the tops of the cars, the big spinning thing. Um, that's how the car is kind of mapping the environment around it versus the cameras like a Tesla car uses. So in relation to the LiDAR, uh, Tesla talked a lot about vision being the key to full self-driving, meaning their camera solution. So in Tesla vehicles, there are eight cameras surrounding the car looking in all directions, uh, which is combined with, with other methods, um, radar and ultrasonic sensors. But the cameras are the main way for the car to look around, interpret the surrounding environment, and make decisions. And so Tesla thinks that's the way to go forward. That's the way they're going forward. They just need a powerful enough computer, which now they're claiming they have. So that was the first part of the presentation, talking about the new full self-driving chip. But the main important takeaways are the chip is much faster than the last chip they were using. They were using a chip from NVIDIA. Now they have an in-house chip that's made by Tesla, designed by Tesla. Tesla is saying this chip is 21 times more powerful than the one they're using now from NVIDIA and they will begin uh, retrofitting cars soon so that all Teslas on the road now that have the hardware 2.5 can easily be upgraded to hardware 3.0 by a mobile service tech. Another interesting point Elon talked about was having robo-taxis uh, by 2020. Um, so this is Model 3s that can fully autonomously go to pick people up. So the car is either owned by Tesla or an individual like you or I, and we or Tesla can send the car out to pick somebody up. They use a new app being designed by Tesla and they can get a ride much like an Uber or a Lyft, except there's no driver. Um, so Tesla will make money. If it's their car, of course, they'll make a lot of money. If it's say my car, then Tesla just gets a share of, of my uh, earnings. In relation to the robo taxis, Tesla also announced an update that will eventually come to their app that will allow cars to join these the robo-taxi fleet. So if I wanted my car to be part of that and make me money, let's say I get to work and my car's just going to be sitting in the parking lot all day, I can go in the app and I can turn it on so that my car is now a taxi, basically. Somebody else nearby opens the Tesla app and requests a car. My car will just, on its own, drive over to that person. Uh, they'll get in and go to their destination. My car can continue driving around uh, and making me money while I'm at work. Another thing that was talked about today that I found really interesting was shadow mode. Um, so if a Tesla is driving down the road, even if you didn't buy autopilot, you don't, you can't use autopilot, your car is constantly acting as if autopilot is enabled. And when, and it sees what it would do in a situation. And then if you do something different than what the car was deciding, it can kind of compare what you did to what the car thought it should do. And by doing that, it can learn, oh, I was going to get over, but they didn't. And now I see that there's a car there. So it can tell that it wasn't, you know, detecting that car appropriately, or you did get over and the car goes, well, I wasn't going to get over. And then it can see, oh, there's there's maybe something in the road there. Maybe that's why they got over. And so the car is always learning in the background, even if you're not using autopilot. Everyone driving a Tesla with probably hardware 2.5 or maybe hardware 2.0 is always helping autopilot get better, whether they're using autopilot or not. So that's really interesting. And, and some people might not like their data being sent. It is optional. You can go into the settings on your car and turn that off. So one disappointment for me today was we didn't get to see anything. I, I was thinking that Tesla was going to demonstrate some of these self-driving abilities. We know we've seen uh, examples from uh, people who have hacked their cars. Um, I'll put a link to that in the description and enabled more of the self-driving features on their cars. All right, well, that's it for this one. I just wanted to quickly cover some of the things I found most interesting. Uh, start a discussion below. What what did you hear about um, from this event today that, that stuck out to you, that you found interesting, that you're excited about? What were you disappointed about? Um, 
what did I leave out? I, I didn't cover. I mean, like I said, the presentation was about three hours, so I didn't cover nearly everything. But these are just the things that were most interesting to me and kind of stuck out and I thought would have the most impact on customers uh, in the near future. All right. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.